So I'm Lucy and I'm the study coordinator for Arctic and we are a spin-out company of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and we test products that aim to kill or repel mosquitoes um, and other types of arthropod as well um, such as bed nets, um, insecticide treated fabrics, clothing, repellents, after bite treatment so there's we work with a, a variety of different insects, so head lice, bed bugs, dust mites, ticks, midges, there's a, there's a large <laughs> list but we we work with a range of insects and arthropods. These are all tools that you're talking about that you need to engage the public with in order to get them to use them. So how do you guys approach achieving that? So every year we run a campaign called Bug Off, which runs throughout the summer, and we host um, different events across the UK, usually based in London, but we also are going to travel to different locations as well. And we engage with the public to raise awareness about how to travel safe and protect themselves against diseases that are transmitted by insects and other biting insects, so such as mosquitoes. So really sort of what repellents they should be taking with them, what the ingredients in the repellent should contain and any other ways that they like the top tips that they can protect themselves against mosquitoes and other insects. What kind of things do you do at the events to really engage the public and get them to change their behaviour? So we bring occasional mosquitoes along with us so that people can see the, the, what the mosquitoes look like and we can talk them through the different diseases that they may transmit and how best to protect themselves. So it's really good for them to engage with the actual mosquitoes themselves and we have a special cage where you can put your arm on top of it and you can see how many mosquitoes are attracted to you. So you can compare that against yourselves and your friends and the other people that you come along with. And we also hand out leaflets and different flyers and materials that have a little bit more information about how to stay safe and some top tips on there as well. So it's quite interactive. We've got a big mosquito head that we bring along with us as well. So people like to try that on and take photos as well. So it's very fun, light-hearted. It sounds it. Um, so how do you find that people react to these um, activities and these displays? Are they engaged? Are they surprised by what you're telling them? Yeah, I think I think people people are always shocked by the big mosquito head that's walking around. They always kind of wonder what it is and want to find out a little bit more. So that draws people in quite well. Um, but I think people really like the interactive side, having the, the cage with the mesh on top so they can really sort of understand why mosquitoes are more attracted to other people and we can bust some myths as well that people kind of hear about think certain foods that they think they should eat and that they're all completely <laughs> not true. So yeah, I think the interaction with the actual mosquitoes themselves um, yeah, works really well.